Hello, this is Ben with Delmont Solar. I am a solar installer in southeastern Pennsylvania. I love technology and have a passion for what clean energy can do. Anyway, today we are close to Burdenhand, Pennsylvania at Tom Scott's place. We recently expanded a solar system that he had. It is now a 10 kilowatt solar system with battery power storage and grid interaction capability. This is actually using old modules and then adding onto it with new mounting system called Tough Track, which allows for great wire management. This is almost like a new system, but using some of the old panels. So this is uh, how it was done, just using the existing system, uh, redoing it, revitalizing it, expanding, and adding a battery bank. All right, now we're in the house, and I'll get to show you where the magic happens. First, some context. Uh, this is an old house, as you can see in this wall, built here in the late 1800s. And the installers did a great job in putting all this equipment in a very narrow space, both in height and in width. Let's start with a component you might be familiar with. This is the breaker box. This is just the power distribution center where the power from the utility company comes in and goes out to the loads. Nothing special here. However, here is where solar and energy storage enter into the mix. Here's the solar power coming down off the roof. It's producing over 3000 watts right now, according to the smartphone app. Uh, there's an online app that shows all this happening real time. Very nice. Solar Edge does a great job on that. And this is a brand new Solar Edge Energy Hub. It just takes the power coming from the grid and passes it right through the breaker box. It also allows the power from the solar to enter the mix and run the loads or even feed power back to the grid when there's more produced than what is being used. And often the battery bank is here doing nothing at all until the power goes out. And then very quickly in the blink of an eye, the lights don't even flicker and the house continues to run off the battery bank or off the solar until the grid power is back on. Uh, very seamless magic. Um, there's no hassle to changing any switches, any breakers or anything. It just does it in the background and you can see it on the smartphone app in real time. Uh, this, is a, this is one example of a battery backup system with the Solar Edge Energy Hub, the LG battery. There are other types as well, but this is a very good example of the general idea of one. For Tom Scott and his family, the goal was to have more solar than what he had and to max out his roof area. And that's exactly what we did. This now offsets 60% of his usage and it has power backup in addition. That was another one of his goals, to add battery backup so when the grid goes down that not everything just goes black. The water quits running, the lights go out, and so forth. So, some takeaways from today are, do your planning right. Uh, go through the process with someone that has done it before, possibly a professional that uh, knows how to step you through it and will take the time in explaining the options and why. Uh, solar has so many options, but in order to keep it simple, just know what your goals are. Uh, solar can be just simply solar without battery backup, or it can be completely off-grid. Those are two different goals. Most people that have solar love it. They would never want to do without. It's very highly regarded. It just works like magic. And when it's done nice, neat, and done right so it's reliable, you'll appreciate it for 20 years or even much more. Uh, this is Ben with Belmont Solar. Hope this helps you if you want something similar as the system that we went over today. Thanks for watching.